Americans are warming up to electric vehicles and a contractor for Bud Light maker Anheuser-Busch shuts down two bottling plants. Jane King's at the NASDAQ market site with those stories and more in today's Morning Business Report. Good morning. A major contractor for a Bud Light maker Anheuser-Busch is shutting down two of its glass bottling plants in North Carolina and Louisiana, laying off about 600 employees amid declining sales of the beer. The Ardog Group is one of the largest glass producers in the world with more than 100 plants in operation. Workers at both bottling plants have reportedly noticed decreased production after transgender activist Dylan Mulvaney's marketing partnership with Bud Light, according to the New York Post. Well, while the domestic box office is telling four and a half billion in movie ticket sales through June 30th. That's a nearly 20 percent increase over last year, but still lags behind 2019. Box office experts noted that 2023 has several big releases still to come in the second half of the year, including Barbie Oppenheimer, The Exorcist Believer, and Dune Part Two. Well, stocks edged higher in a shortened trading session Monday. The U.S. stock market was closed yesterday for Independence Day. And the Barbie movie has found itself in the middle of a political firestorm. The film is been banned in Vietnam for its use of a map depicting territory that both China and Vietnam claim as their own. China claims to have historical ties to areas of the South China Sea and in recent years has used popular media to legitimize its claims, according to researchers. And nearly half of U.S. car buyers plan to go electric in the next two years. Analysts at Ernst & Young surveyed 1,500 U.S. consumers and found 48 percent of vehicle buyers plan to purchase an EV, representing a nearly 20 percent jump from last year. From the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King with your morning business report.